Hello, hello. Here is the key for our pretest. Folks were asking about this. <clears throat> so um, here's how I set it up. Um, I'm going to use a Kirchhoff's current law <clears throat> that says current in to a node is equal to the current out. And so if um, maybe I could be a little more uh, clear about this. So um, I'm claiming my current one direction um, as being this way. <clears throat> and so it's also going to be this way right here. Um, I'm claiming my current two direction to be this way. And I'm claiming my current three direction to be this direction. Okay, so um, that's Kirchhoff's current law for uh, node C here. And so I go ahead and write out that equation right here. Um, current out is equal to current in. So I have I2 flowing in. That must be equal to I3 and I1 um, flowing out. Okay, so there's one relationship. Now I have three unknowns. I don't know any of those um, currents. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to um, do a Kirchhoff's voltage law loop around this pathway. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna make an equation for that. So that's loop A. So down here I have um, A. And uh, here's what I'm gonna say about that. Maybe we can see it here. Okay, so <clears throat> just go down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, that would be okay. <clears throat> so maybe I can zoom out just a little bit. Uh, okay, let's roll with it. Um, so uh, I'm going to start at the voltage, um, the, the battery here. So V1 is going to give me some voltage. So, by the way, Kirchhoff's voltage law says the sum of the voltages around any one full loop is going to be equal to zero. So I have zero equals. I get some voltage from <clears throat> the battery. I use some voltage um, right here at resistor three because I have current running through resistor three in the direction of my loop. Okay, so I'm gonna use some voltage there. Now I go through this battery, through my loop, and so I get some voltage. Okay, and next I go over here. I'm, I'm going with the current. Um, this is current one through R1, and that's gonna use some voltage too. And so there's an equation right there for that. <clears throat> my next loop is gonna be, uh, my next relationship, I'm going to use a KVL loop again, but for this side over here. Um, and uh, so uh, um, the sum of all the voltages is equal to zero. So zero equals, I'm going to go ahead and start here. I get some voltage from my battery. I'm going to use some voltage as current goes across my resistor. <coughs> um, I3 goes through the resistor. Resistor two, that's gonna use some voltage. Okay, so I went my battery, this resistor, keep on going around my loop. Uh, as the current flows across this resistor four, current three goes across resistor four, I'm gonna use some voltage. Okay, I turn the corner here. Now I'm going with the current again, current two through resistor three, that's gonna use some voltage. <clears throat> all right. And so I just plug in all the goodies for that stuff. Um, so I'm trying to solve for my currents. See what I did there. And my calculator, um, I'm gonna plug in X, Y, and Z stuff instead of I2, I1, and I, I3. Just so I can not get confused, I switch those over to these variables. And uh, plug in all of my goodies here to my TI-89 and press go. And this is what I got. Now, um, I just, did my best to choose something that looked reasonable for my current directions, but it's really not that big of a deal. Just make sure we're staying consistent with it. So I chose these directions for my currents, but 
it looks like for I3, and I3, I really wasn't sure about which way it was going. The current was flowing around this uh, pathway here. And so I got a negative sign for I3. That just means the current is flowing the opposite direction that I chose to this part of the circuit. <clears throat> but nevertheless, this is, this is fine. Um, this tells us the direction. I was right on these two, and it's the opposite direction where I chose my diagram, which is fine. I, I, I show my diagram which way, and uh, it says it's opposite, so that's cool. Um, so anyways, there's your answers. Um, and I will take a look at your answers uh, as soon as I can, and I'll get you some feedback. Thank you.